every goddamn one of them. I watch TikTok and I see how many fucking 17, 18, 19, 20 year olds are crying out for sugar daddies. And I'm a good one. I'm a good one. Have you seen the sugar daddy culture? You've got you've got these goddamn cock sucking bitches. Are you fucking crazy? Are you fucking kidding me? No. Here's the reality, dude. Bitches. If you get a fucking twenty year old, you goddamn fucking bitch. You better goddamn be on bending knee every fucking minute of the goddamn day. That's reality. You stupid fuck. Way too many people. They're fucking twos and threes and fours, and they think they're going to get a ten. I deserve a ten. It's like, motherfucker, you're going to be lucky if you get anyone, because I... God damn it, I spilled my fucking wine. You know what would really make me happy? Is if I got ten million dollars, million dollars, I've seen some of your pictures. Holy fucking shit. God fucking damn it. I would walk, I I would literally walk on my fucking knees with my tongue dragging out on the ground to worship the fucking Garden of Eden between those ivory towers. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm just going to put that out there. God damn Celeste, now you're teasing me. Um, now, if all my mirrors, you know, if me and all my mirrors were like robbing his dad's house and he had like a hot sister who was like, you know, in her 20s, and she was like, holy shit. She was like, oh, my mirrors. Who's this, like, fucking stud you're hanging out with? I have to have him. I'd be like, uh, I can't find any ice cream. It's fine to use condom. <laughs> and he's in such a fucking sad mental state. He thought the ice condom was an ice cream cone. <laughs> Timmy, no! Timmy, no! No, Timmy! It's a used condom! It's not an ice cream cone! (laughs) Show some fucking respect. God fucking damn it. Dude, I would fuck Blair White, but she's married. If I dated a girl and she was like a tranny, I literally wouldn't want to know. And if she looks like a guy, but as a woman, I'm going to start judging that's just the I fuck that shit, you know. It's clear that they're men. They're cl- it's clear that they're men. That if I have like a woman who is like if I have a woman who is like a strong like the woman that I like, I'm like, okay, I gotta back off because I've got codependency issues. Rapper Wilbur! Rubber Wilbur, you goddamn fucking bitch. Rubber Wilbur. I know this is Rubber Wilbur. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, if, they're, if they're the I'm a princess type, no, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I, I need a woman. I need a woman who's not afraid to get her goddamn hands dirty. If she digs in the dirt and if she knows how to shoot a bow or a gun, if she knows how to fucking skin something to kill it and eat it, hopefully not me, um, then I'll consider it. Hey, look, do you like dick? And I'm like, no, no, we really don't. No, I'm not into that. No. And then months later, he told me about how he had two gay guys as roommates. Yeah, I kind of figured it out at that point. Uh-huh, yeah! Which I think some of his some of his uh, turning me uh, over to the 
state was part of that. Part of that, part of that betrayal, I think, was gay rage. I'm just gonna say I think Tim Maris had some gay rage going on. I can't confirm it. I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure he's a fucking homosexual. Do you realize that you're on the what the fuck? Of course I go on tangents. God fucking damn it, I'm a German! Germans always go on tangents! Have you not seen Hitler's speeches? Have you not heard Nietzsche's speeches? Of course Germans go on tangents! I am German! Yeah, I picked up the phone because I saw you calling. So, your husband is awesome. Anyway, I am very drunk. Uh huh. I'm I'm actually friends with a lot of witches on Facebook, but. It's like I don't do any rituals myself, which I may sh- I may need to do so because, you know, I got the Aleister Crowley vibe. At least I got the Aleister Crowley look, you know, bald and funny looking. Anyway. <laughs> uh. Hello? Okay. The what? Yeah, that was Robert Wilbur calling, and I hung up on him because he was he was babbling about Happy Cabby and other weird shit. So, yeah, well, you know how it is with guys. We'd rather talk to a girl than with a guy, even if she's married. So, yeah. You have many, many people. I envy you. I really do. I at the at the last job I had, I had a really hot, like tall blonde woman that I was into. But I was just like, I am still way too fucked up to even bother. No, 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 no. I just don't trust women. That's the problem. Yeah, society. Society tries to tell them that they're when they're young, society tries to tell them that their value is their vagina. But then the older they get, the less value that has. And unfortunately, most of them are dumb enough to believe it. Holy shit. Because it's like, I'm terrified of becoming like Von Hilton. That fucking terrifies me. I am in pain every fucking day. At the fact that I am 45 and in this fucking position. It's like, if I was Von Helton, I would eat a bullet. I would immediately eat a fucking bullet. Because it's like, holy shit. Yes, because Von Helton's a whore. Von Helton is a monster. And he he violated her. And the, the, thing, the thing with Doc Savage, the reason, the reason that I got so pissed off at Doc Savage was because... He fucking triggered me. He fucking triggered me. Um, you know, it was a... It was you a, know, Doc Savage is our real life doctor, right? Who? Uh, Doc Savage. Yeah, 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 He doesn't go out of his way to just troll people for no reason. Like okay. if, if he's saying something about you, then you should probably like look at your life and think about it real fucking hard. Okay. I I the reason that I got triggered was because I assumed that he was just another troll and that he was just like trying to get onto my good side to fucking hurt me. 
because I've had way too many people try to hurt me. And it's just excuse well, me. But, honey, he only... And I haven't known him for that long. Yeah. I know him for a long time. But he will, like, kind of reach out and he'll do, like, a breakdown and be like, hey, this person needs mm. to do this and this and this and this and try to give you help. I, I, no, 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 I, I get it, I get it, I'm just angry at myself, because I made a mistake, because I lashed out, and it's like, because I, I recognize you as a co-creator, and it's like, holy shit, I fucked up, it's like, I fucked up, because it's like, okay, I got a co-creator telling me what's going on, and so obviously I'm wrong because my own perception, because I know how my mind works. So Doc Savage was not trying to betray me. He was not trying to be an asshole. He was trying to be compassionate, but I read it wrong. 